Hello, this is Mikey with VideoMissile.com, and we have another After Effects 5 minute tutorial. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to be sure that you'll receive all the latest updates and videos that I post. In this video, I'm going to be covering some of the features that you can do with audio in After Effects. Now, a little disclaimer, if you are really wanting to do a lot of audio work, this is not the program for you. After Effects is notoriously horrible with audio. But with that in mind, there still is some things you can do, and there's some neat things you can do as far as converting audio to keyframes, and I'll show you that in a little bit here too. So first off, I have a, a piece of music. This is from iStock Photos. So I can take that and just drag it and drop it right here on the canvas, and it brings it down here in the timeline view. Right now, it's just a layer in my timeline, but I can twirl down and then twirl down again and twirl down the waveform, and I can see this big waveform, which is good. Now, normally when I have things that I'm previewing, I hit spacebar and I preview through, but this doesn't work for audio. What the spacebar does is it previews the video only. If I hit the zero on the keypad, the 10 keypad on the right hand side of the keyboard, that will preview video and audio, but it has to render it out. Or I can hit the period on the 10 keypad and it'll preview out, preview out just the audio and not show any of the animations. So some of the things you can do, um, right now there's only one keyframeable thing you can do with the audio and that's the audio levels. So I can keyframe the level, keyframe it there and at the beginning I'm gonna bring this down the amplitude so it'll, it'll fade up. You can hear that fade. We can make that fade over a longer distance. By default, the only things you can do as far as keyframing with audio. But there are some audio effects. Go up to Effects, Audio, and you can turn it backwards. There's some bass and treble effects, a delay, flanger and a chorus, um, reverb, different things, an EQ, which is important. We always need to EQ our audio. So if you're, if you're doing some audio editing, there are some things you can do. But what I really want to show you is audio keyframes. So I want to show you how it works. What you do is you right click on the layer and then right there it says keyframe assistant and then you go to convert audio to keyframes. And what it does is it creates a null object and on that null object are three effects. It says left channel, right channel, and both channels. And as we scrub through, you can see over here those values are changing. And what it's doing is it's taking the amplitude in the left channel or the right channel or both channels combined and it's turning into numbers. So what I like to do is since it already applies it to a null object I can go in here open these up and I'm going to just take both channels and I'm going to option hold down option or alt on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch and then use the pick whip and grab the slider. You can see up here the null object moved up into the corner and now it is moving with the beat. So if I take some text, audio keyframe, and then I can parent that to the null object, and now it will move with the beat. Now what's going on here is it's moving in both X and Y axis. So I can come in here to this expression where I connected the position to the channel, the both channels, and you can see what's going on is it's, it's applying all that data into a variable named temp. And then it's putting that variable into the X and Y. So if I only want it to move in one axis, I can go in there and change one of these to zero. And then now it will, it's only moving up and down. Now say I want it to move more dramatically, and that's that's really easy to do. What I can do here is right here where it is applying to the to the variable, I can go before the semicolon and put a star for times, and let's say 10. And what it's gonna do is gonna take that value and times it by 10. So now when it's moving, it's gonna move a lot more dramatically. Pretty cool, it moves along with the beat. That's it. Please explore After Effects. 
test out these features, try the audio keyframes, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Put them down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So, and of course, like and share this video with your friends. And this is Mikey with VideoMissile.com with another After Effects 5-Minute Tutorial.